Hi and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Um, this time we're going to look at uh, a fly that uh, I've been playing around with for a couple of years and uh, it's kind of evolved to <laughs> a color combo I really like and uh, this fly I've, I've, I've caught some really nice uh, sea trouts on it so um, now it's time you know to show you guys how this fly is tied um, <clears throat> it's this fly uh, it started off in a completely different color combo and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you and it's kind of ended up with this color combo <laughs> I really like it uh, I love the silver color I love the gray and I love the white eyes and uh, also the peacock color of the eye stub in the you know in the center of the body so yeah I really like it and as always you can find the um, uh, skip the intro down below so you don't have to so you can go directly to the fly tying also a uh, link to my my sponsor Nudis Hiskistir uh, they provide me with the materials for this fly so check out the links below and I also uh, have a link to my Patreon page if you want to become a patron and support my channel. Uh, and welcome you guys. Uh, I, I'm getting a lot of members on my channel and that's really cool. So welcome to you guys as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you um, what this fly, how it started out. Um, this is the, I'm going to take out this one. This is the, the first fly I tied. And as you can see, it's a really sparse looking fly. It's, you know, it's pretty translucent. And you have this black dubbing in the back, spay hackle and really sparse front. Can you see? And it caught me a nice two, two and a half kilos uh, trout uh, on the fall of 21 or something. Yeah. And, um, and, I, and after a while I, I thought, ah, I want to have some, a little bit other color. I want to play around. So this is how it started out. And it kind of uh, evolved to something like this. Uh, I wanted to try some different colors. So in this one, you can see I have the, I have a black dubbing in the back. I have some lavender, I think. I used to have purple or lavender or blue. And I have some red in the front. And also these um, dumbbell eyes or these eyes. And it worked okay. Uh, but it wasn't like, at this point, I didn't uh, take out the fly from the box and fished with it because it wasn't like, oh, that's cool. Oh, I want to fish that fly. So from that stage, <laughs> it, in, it evolved to this fly, and that triggered me a lot. I, I, I often I put on this fly when I was fishing, and 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 you can see it. It has this really nice, but now it's it's a lot bigger. Can you see? It's kind of it's a little bit bigger in the front, and it's more dense. You know. And you have another color in the back. It's midnight, midnight fire dubbing. It got the blue and the red, and and then it's got this lavender front with these fluorescent yellow eyes. So I mean, it it looked okay. I caught a few few fish on it, but I didn't pick it out when I was supposed to use it. It was like now I'm going to use something else. And then this is the result where I'm really happy with the color combo. Uh, <laughs> because I really wanted a fly that looked like more of a, you know, like a herring, S somewhat like a herring, you know, with the silver and the gray. Can you see? It got uh, the peacock. Now there's no red, there's no blue, there's no midnight fire in the back. It's just peacock color. I stood peacock. And the spay hackle, gray spay hackle, and in the front, it's like a little bit silver. And I also have some orange showing through here in the front. Can you see? And the white eyes. And this fly, yeah, works 
excellent for what I'm you know going to use it for. I'm going to use it for imitating a small minnow, a brishling as we say in Norwegian. Yeah. So let's go through the materials of this fly. And that's why I'm calling this fly peacock minnow. Peacock minnow, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, for a hook, we're going to use the Arex NS 156 in a size 6. And um, uh, for the dubbing, it's Ice Dub Peacock. Look at this stuff, man. Oh, it's so nice. This, this color is just. <laughs> and uh, for the front, you know, I'm going to use this dubbing for, all, for, for the whole body. And in the front, in the dubbing loop, we're going to have, this is from Subai, this is baitfish dubbing, white transparent. And I'm going to mix in a ah, few, few here, so the fibers of ice dub silver holographic. You can also use gold. So if you have some ice dub hulu gold, Use the gold, it will, uh, you know, it also works great, yeah. But we're going to use the silver one today. And for eyes, I'm using from Spirit River Real Eyes Plus in Nickel Pearl. I'm going to put up the size underneath so you can see the size. These are white. And also, you can use green, you can use yellow. Chartreuse, I don't know. Use whatever eyes you like. I really like the white ones. And <laughs> I'm gonna use spay hackle. I know these these hackles are really these capes are really hard to find these days, but I have a few of these gray, and I know many of you other guys also have this gray spay hackle. This is a grizzly one. And uh, if you don't have spay hackle, I've actually tied this fly with the craft fur. And it's a little bit tricky because if you use too much, the fly is going to be too compact. I'm going to show you down here. I'm going to show you. Can you see? I didn't have gray, so I went for the all, you know, for this color combo. <laughs> this blue chartreuse. <laughs> can you see? Yeah. And it's really nice, you can see, but you really have to use, can you see? The amount of fibers I've been using, it's really sparse, and I, you just want to use the thinnest, thinnest fibers on a on a craft fur. Yeah, on the craft fur. So we're gonna start by putting in our hook, the peacock minnow. <laughs> so for thread, we're gonna use this is from Semperfly. Uh, I think this is, yeah, Fluo Red. This is a 6 o from Semperfly. This is really fluorescent, nice and fluorescent. So let's start in the front. We're gonna make a nice foundation. Uh, and we're gonna stop uh, by the hook point and we're gonna tie in a little dubbing ball. And I'm gonna use the Ice Dub Peacock. Ice Dub Peacock. I'm gonna do the same as the previous fly, you know, the, the fly. <laughs> We're gonna make a dubbing ball because this dubbing ball, the, the first hackle is gonna get pushed up against the dubbing ball so it really fans out, okay? Yeah. So let's put on some dubbing. Make sure it's nice and compact. Can you see I'm struggling with, with fastening the dubbing? So I'm just gonna use my finger, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Go all the way down. So we're almost aligned with the barb. Can you see here we are aligned with the barb? Go up again. Stop by the hook point. And one more time. I think it's enough with two passes. Look at this color, man. I'm gonna use this color for a couple of trout flies I use. I can see this color combo, you, you work great for trout. Brown trout, you know, yeah. So there you have a really nice dubbing ball. Can you see? And I'm gonna move my device a little bit in the center like that. So pull everything back and 
tie up against the dubbing ball like this and go forwards again. And now we're going to brush a little bit. Pull out some fibers, look at the, you know, it's the peacock is like sort of a gold shimmer to it. And the peacock color, the greenish bluish color with the gray, it's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to choose a spayacle. So down here I'm using the shorter, uh, shorter ones with the shorter hackle fibers because we really don't want to have it too long because you're gonna you're gonna it's, it's just gonna tangle up uh, in the hook so use the shorter one that's why I mean for this fly you could easily uh, use a hen cape if you can get a hold of a spay hen not a, a rooster but a hen I think that would work great so yeah so we're gonna tie in can you see the length it's about this yeah Tie it in, 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 in the tip, 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 tip. Can you see, I, I don't tie it in there, I tie it in here because I don't, you know, to save some time, I, I used to, I just go like this. So I don't have to wind around like 20 times and tie it in there. Go back again, snip, snap, snoop. I got a new scissor, this is from TMCO. I mean, they really know how to make scissors. So uh, I can strongly advise you guys to, to try these scissors out. And they are big enough, you know, so I can put it on my finger. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to hackle, hackle, hackle. Pull them back. I'm going to use my rotary vise. A couple of turns. Pull it back. Pull it back. And it's for me, it's really important that this fly is lightly dressed. I, I don't want to overdress it because I really believe in, in, in this fly. I really believe that it kind of fishes better when it's a little bit translucent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make sure you don't have any loops like that. There's another loop. Nope. And then three finger grip. Pull everything back, make sure it's nice and divided all the way around, tie back to the dubbing loop, touching turns, push it back, 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 and this, can you see this really fans out, so you get this in the back, and when you pull it, it go like this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so at this point, I really like to tie in the eyes and make sure you have enough space for our, for your dubbing loop, okay? So now we made a nice foundation for our eyes. I'm gonna tie in some dumbbell eyes. I'm just gonna fasten it with a couple of cross turns, flip it over, and now make sure you have enough space in the front. Five mils maybe six also from the front of the hook eye to the center of the eye six millimeters that's really important because you want to have the space in the front to do a couple of turns of, of um, dubbing loop ish yeah and I'm gonna do some super glue this is from Wopsy cement cement fly tires brush on applicator and it's stuck. I need to, I need to put on some. Um, is it called lip gloss? I don't know. I use Carmex, and I just put on some on the on the threads, and it won't uh, get stuck again. Okay, okay. So put on some super glue. This really helps. Do a couple of cross turns. And then we're going to do another turn of dubbing. And now, can you see where I put my thread? This is also important because we're going to have another hackle and we're going to have a dubbing loop. So I'm going to stop there. That's a couple of millimeters from the eyes. Ice stub, peacock. 
I'm gonna make a nice thin body. I really think, uh, you know, the, the hair, hairline has come out with some amazing color combos. Really good color combos. Get out of the way. Nice thin body. Can you see it's nice and thin? And since this dubbing is not going to get ribbed or reinforced anything, I, that's why I really love to make a nice thin dubbing noodle because then the thread are kind of locking down the dubbing all the way so you can catch a lot of fish on it so it doesn't you know yeah okay so now we're going to tie in another spay hackle so at this point you could you could tie in some if you're using craft fur just pull out 10 or 15 strands of fibers don't don't overdo it and tie them in and divide them all the way around, it's going to look pretty nice. But I'm going to use a spay hackle. Again, not the biggest one. Pretty, you know, pretty short one. Like that. And again, I'm not going to tie it in all the way in the tip. I'm going to cheat. Can you see? And I pull it back. And I tie it in like that and then if you lift it up you have a few fibers already sticking out but I'm, I like that it saves me time and the fly looks great <laughs> oh no it pulled out <laughs> it's all happening today but it's okay I'm gonna secure you by folding you back like that I'm in a good mood today it's because of the sun. The sun is shining. Oh, finally a, some sun, some hot weather. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to hackle our fly. One and two. This fly is fighting me all the way. Like that. No, no, no. Can you see? Only three turns. Really don't want to overdo it. I really want a sparse, thin, translucent looking fly. Beautiful, beautiful. Snip it off. And then, three finger grip again. Pull it back. Go back with your thread. And push them against the body like that and now we're gonna uh, use our thread and make sure everything is or nice and orange because this is gonna be you know this this color is gonna show through oh man <laughs> I'm gonna move my beautiful vice again like that Oh, it's a cool fly. It's a really cool fly. I really love it. I really love it. Okay, make a dubbing loop. Dubbing loop, I mean. I'm getting excited. I know I'm going to go in fishing very soon. I'm just going to wait for this full moon to, to turn. Okay, do a half hitch. I'm going to use my rotary vise and now we're going to mix the dubbing. So I like to pull out some of these translucent fibers first. And as always, I, put, I just put it on my leg. It's easy, easy to see how much and we're going to have somewhat of a five centimeters long dubbing loop. But I'm really looking for a translucent dubbing loop here. Like that, and then we're gonna pull out just a little bit, just a little bit of the silver because this really shows. Don't overdo it. It's like, can you see? Can you see? Okay. Don't overdo it. Please, please, please don't overdo it. And then I'm gonna grab the whole thing. I'm gonna leave my scissor there with my hand like that. Can you see? 
six, seven centimeters, six centimeters. Yeah, and put it in the dubbing loop. <laughs> this is something you have to practice. I can see it's a little bit too much. And that's experience, you know. Also, I'm looking for a little bit too much silver. I really don't want too much silver. I just, you know, I just want a couple of... Yeah. <laughs> this is, looks like seven. Yeah, seven centimeters. So you have some reference sense <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, so about seven centimeters, six to seven centimeters this long and translucent. You'll be okay. Spin it. Make sure you don't catch in every spehacle fiber. We could put on one of these clips. Bada bim, bada boom. Spin, spin, spin. Use our brush. Brush, brush, brush. I'm gonna brush it so you can see the thread again. Hey, come back here. Oh man. I really love this color combo. I'm really, really loving this color combo. Okay, so pull it back. I'm gonna use our rotary vise. Bam, 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 bam. Take a turn, pull everything back. I'm gonna take off this one again. Pull it back. Pull it back. Don't, no touching turns. Can you see I'm just gonna use a couple of turns in the front there? And I'm gonna go Cross over, cross over in the top, cross under, go like that, go in the front, cross under again, go around the eye, like that, and just a turn in the front. And if you have seven centimeters, this really works great. You know, but you really have to practice it. I've been tying this fly for a couple of years now and I sort of know how much materials I need in the dubbing loop to make so I don't have too much. But I mean if I tie five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten flies, sometimes I get too much. Sometimes I, I get too little but you get used to it. Snip off your dubbing loop. Oh, and then brush it and look at the, co the, co the co color combo of the silver and the translucent stuff with the orange underneath in the front. Oh, mama. Okay, so finish off with a whip finish. Whip it. Whip it. Snip off your thread. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this fly and I'm gonna see how much materials I got. Can you see? I know it doesn't, you know, on the camera it's quite hard to see how much materials there are, but it's quite and and if if you feel that you have you know put on too much, you can always pull out a few fibers from the fly like that. Just pull out a few fibers. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna have a look on the other side. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm gonna comb it with my three finger grip. Can you see? I call this the three finger grip. Yeah. And we're gonna use a lighter and the fly is done. Pull everything back. Be careful. Be fast. Boom, boom. And pinch it one more time. Boom, boom. Pinch it, it kind of forms the front of the head and get rid of all the loose stuff. I really love this color combo. It's perfect for where I'm gonna fish this fly. And it kind of shows through the orange stuff. I'm gonna dip it in water. I'm gonna show you. Of course, it's not gonna look like that in the water, but I just, you know, you like the wet look. So here's my glass. Can you see? Can you see the fly with the silver stuff and the translucent? Can you see how translucent this, this fly is? You really see the dark body and you see the silver and you see the red. I'm gonna take it out. It's so, so nice looking. Yeah, I, I really love it. 
I really love it. Can you see? Oh, and you get this nice fluorescent orange in the front. So that's gonna, you know, when the when the sun is shining on it, it's gonna glow up. So, okay. Thanks a lot for for watching. I really thanks a lot for all the support. That's the peacock minnow. And as always, you can find the material list down below in the description. Go down. Uh, I'm sorry about the spectacle. It's really hard to find, but try to tie this fly with the with a, um, a spectacle from a hand cape. I think they are easier to find. I'm not sure. Or try to tie it with some some uh, craft fur. You know, the first dubbing ball we tied. Make sure it's nice and hard, and and try to push. You know, tie the craft fur fibers against the dubbing ball so it kind of fans out. Make sure it's nice and translucent. Don't overdo it with the with the and with the craft fur. And I think it would work great. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to some craft fur that my sponsor, Ludis Kiskusti, uh, have. So if you want to buy from them, I'm gonna leave a link to them. And uh, also, there's a link to my Patreon page down below uh, if you want to become a supporter to the channel. So yeah, are we good? Oh, look at my box. I've already tied uh, a couple of these flies. This is looking really nice now. Can you see? <laughs> uh, it's so good. I really, I need to tie some jiggies as well, uh, but it's really getting complete this box, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this fly in my box. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo.